What's up? It's Hallie. And welcome to a new Let's Play. This is a game that is very near and dear to my heart. And one that I've been playing for quite a long time. This is... Aiden Chronicles, the first mage. But it's not just Aiden. This is actually a mod I have made of this game, which I have dubbed Aiden Plus. I recently put the finishing touches on my changes to the ROM, and it seemed like it would be a good idea to give it a let's play and talk about the differences and all the things I changed and why. So we're going to be getting into that, but um, I'm going to be sharing this on the subreddit I made for Aiden, and the folks there said they wanted me to cover the story details as well. So that means you get to put up with my terrible voice acting on top of everything else. So, our hero's name is Aileron, and we're going to watch this intro movie. Yes, your majesty! Right away, your majesty! Why does the king always ask me to find the boy? I'm a cook, not a ranger! Aileron! 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 Hmm, let me think. When was the last time I saw him? Yesterday? Yes, that all happened yesterday, but... Well, where is he? I don't know, Sir Brecken. He's run off again, hasn't he? I don't know, Sir Brecken. Who can depend on this squire? Sir, I often depend on him. Naturally. But you're a cook, not a knight of the realm. Sir! You see? Another silly enchantment. Arrogant squire! Do you know how many swords he's ruined? And now he disappears into thin air! Never understood what the sky was doing in this scene. It's just like flashing all these crazy colors and stuff. Aileron, come out immediately! Aileron! 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 Anything strange with him lately? Sir? Nothing odd in the kitchen? Any strangers coming around? Not that I've noticed, sir. No, sir. Then why should he run away? Where do you think he is? Still doing it. Uh-oh. I'm sure that's nothing to worry about. Alright, put a guard in the main hall. Yes, sir. And send someone into the library. Have a maid check the observatory. And another look by the pool. Magic in progress. Keep out. This means you. And question the magicians. But sir, we're breaking. Just find him! Why me? Magic's still in progress. Don't make me ask you again. Here to complain. Complain? About what, Mistress Rada? About the boy. What else? Stealing spellbooks, losing relics. Just wait till I catch him. Let's hope the king doesn't hear about that. Aileron! Hmm, not with a Brecken, not with Bowden, not with Garvik or Rada. Of course! He's been in his room all along! You wish. Hello, Aileron? Anybody home? Prince Sheridan! He's in the forest. 
The forest? Why on earth would he go there? One of the farmers is missing. He's gone to rescue the poor man. Alone? You know Alaron. Okay. And here he is, out in the forest, just like he said. Hello? Kendall? He must be out here somewhere. Kendall? It's me! Alaron. I spoke to your wife. She's worried. She hasn't seen you all morning. Come on out, Kendall. Come out here now! Did you hear me? Hello? You out here? Aleron's search tactics are brilliant and flawless. So blah blah, we got our killing potions. Uh, before I get into like describing the details of things I changed, I'm gonna just get this like enter cutscene out of the way, so that we don't have to worry about it. Yes, the forest is quite lovely, Yuli, but foolish do not be. Goblins roam the wood and trouble there has been. Yes, so have I heard. What is it? Aleron? Hail and well met, honored Mirari. How be you this day, Pop? Well are you? I am happy and I am well. Ah, and what brings you to the forest? What indeed? These woods are perilous. Goblins be the enemies of traders and squires. Meanwhile, the king and all his knights are searching the castle for you. I haven't seen any goblins. Recently they have been attacking caravans and traders. Lucky are we to slip past with our spice. But our magic does aid us. Even still, we must move quickly. Take care, Pop. But Idur, I have to find Kendall. Perhaps he is westerly, or somewhere to the east. We are traveling from Tailwalk. Tailwalk? Where's that? Tailwalk is a land to the south, south of the forest along the river. Is it far? Not for us. No, not for traders. Though we will be happy to see our homes in Erewhon. Yes, indeed. In any case, we did not see your Kendall along the path from here or there to here. He must be somewhere else. May you find him safely and quickly and before the king is too angry. Wait a minute. Is the king angry? Oh, you know the king. A hot temper, but a kind soul. I see more than enough of his temper these days. Yes, pup, and who is at fault there? Hush, Yuli. Can't you see the boy is worried enough? Why don't you bring some spice? We are carrying his favorite. Pogrel. The royal ponies relish it. Um, is it expensive? For you, pup, a special price. Two gold pieces. I have one gold piece. Only one! Are you sure? This is very fine, Pogrel. I know it's the finest, Theodore, but with one piece of gold I can't do much bargaining. Very well, very well. We traders know what it's like to be a little light on gold, pup. Indeed we do. Suppose we shall. That this one time a single gold piece will do. And that's the least expensive you'll ever get spice in this game. Thank you! And now I must find Kendall. Hmm. Be careful, pup! Trained you may be, but more than rats or bats you are not ready for. Kill you, they will! Don't be in these woods after dark, pup! Not see him alive again. Too bad. Nice he was. Alright. So that's that. We gotta, um... Oh, alright, I'm after it here. I'm using a controller. I usually play on the keyboard, since this is a ROM. But I'm still, like, getting used to the buttons I saved and stuff. Okay, so we've got that saved. So... Oh god, he came right around the bend at me. Okay, hello, giant bat. I guess we'll talk about you first. So, uh, you know, the first thing most players or veterans of this game will notice is that bats really aren't what they used to be. As in, they aren't the complete pushovers they once were. They're not totally harmless anymore. Like, uh, we'll see if this guy survives this attack first. Yeah, he did. You gonna bite me, bat? Oh no, I, wanna, I, want, I want you guys to show him your new party trick. Come on, do it. I avoided the attack, somehow. Oh good, he got two turns in a row. There we go, see? So, um, I gave bats 
a custom new weapon called Bat Bite. I know, very creative. It basically has 100 accuracy and 10 damage. And the reason I did this is because giant bats in the original are complete pushovers. Like, they can barely damage you, they aren't worth much experience, they're supposed to be like the Goombas of Aiden. But, um, that means they're like totally cannon fodder, even from the very beginning of the game. And it's kind of my philosophy that if an enemy is not relevant the first time you fight it, it's never relevant. So, by making them glass cannons like this, you have to uh, kind of be wary of them and like shape your tactics around them and try to kill them before they can get their nips in on you. So, that's their shtick. And to compensate you for the added difficulty, they're now worth twice as much experience. Isn't that nice? So, while we're on the status screen here, I'll talk about one of the fairly major balance changes I made. Was that um, I decided to adjust the hero's stats based on what the experience they would have at their level. Uh, at, for level 1, I used Brenna as a baseline to assume that a starting out hero would have about 150,000 experience to work with, and I made sure that their stats uh, total did not exceed that value. And in Alaron's case, this just resulted in most of these numbers here going down by one. He's probably going to miss that dexterity point the most out of anything. But even so, it won't be too much for him to bounce back from because he's only over by about like 20k. Uh, other characters have suffered greater losses, but I think it'll balance out in the end because like that just gives you more room to grow anyway. And it's not like the game couldn't afford to be a little more challenging. And we'll go fight our giant rat next. Now, if you think I did anything crazy with this guy like I did with the bat, I actually didn't. I barely touched giant rats at all. Um, I did give them a little bit of armor. They're now wearing beast hide armor, which is the kind of uh, equipment you could get from their hides anyway. But I didn't really see a need to change giant rats because... Unlike giant bats, they take a few whacks to get through. And that gives them time to chew you up, even with how inaccurate and weak they are. So a horde of giant rats can still get a few licks in on you. Which is why it's a good thing they don't do like 20 plus damage a hit. <laughs> the giant rat. Truly a perfect creature. It cannot be improved upon in any way. But the armor did make them slightly more durable. And that's all the more I felt the need to do with them. It's cold here. Kendall? Is that you? A spirit! Well... That's definitely not important for any reason. Just gonna grab some basic treasures while we're out here in the forest. Mm. One other thing I did was that I uh, lowered the, the gold drops of most enemies. Uh, a lot of things are now worth a lot less than they once were. Here's a farmer's hat. Might be Kendall's hat, but I guess we wouldn't know because it doesn't have his name on it. That, that's a joke. In the original game, that is Kendall's hat, and it's the only one like it. But I made a lot of items available by other means now, so to justify the existence of multiple Kendall's hats, I kind of had to rename them to something more generic. And there are many items that used to belong to specific people that no longer do, for that reason alone. But yeah, in an effort to rebalance the game's economy, I reduced the capacity for finding gold substantially. And there are still some expensive things to afford, but you might have to think a little more carefully about what you get. And yes, I did just walk off that giant ledge that I cannot walk back up again. It's a nice little shortcut. I wish more of them existed in this game. Nope. 
I knew that rat was there, but you didn't see him sneaking up. No, rat, no! Oh, right. I forgot to mention. I have totally nerfed all of Valorant's starting equipment. He used to start with a better shield than this, and a better sword than this. About the only thing I didn't nerf is his club, because he already has the worst possible hafted weapon you can hold. Uh, his, his, yeah, this armor is worse in general. Oh, I'm gonna put this on too. Oop. Ah, I didn't mean to unpause. That's okay, I got two turns in a row. There, now I've got the farmer's hat on. I can't remember if he starts with a short bow, but I gave him this one. Just in case you want to start the game with missiles instead. I actually did intend to run Alaron hafted for this playthrough, so it's better that he uses this club instead of that dagger. There you go, rat. You're dead. Got the beast built. Now, to compensate a little bit for the uh, reduction in gold, I did make some new items for other enemies to drop. Like, normally a giant rat wouldn't drop anything sale-worthy besides that beast pelt we already had, but they have a unique rare item called the Rat Tail that is worth about 100 gold when you find it. So, you can still get gold off of other enemies sometimes, depending. Has that battle look good? Wow, it really came all the way over here. I've never stuck around to see this bat's flight pattern. Okay, well, he just went off over there. Uh, I'm trying to remember which button is my sneak so I don't get caught by him. <laughs> because I don't want to fight that bat. There's actually two in that battle, and I have no faith in Elrond's ability to survive that. We're just going to sneak on by. And normally I wouldn't bother with that at all, but if we go over here, there's another cutscene. And I did say I was going to cover the story, so I'd better do it. Sister, look! There's that boy from the castle! He's a bold one to be wandering alone! I can't be arsed to make new voices for both these people. Good day, Mirari. I'm happy to see friendly faces here. Got someone in Zareen being happy to meet you here. And we are surprised to see you, Bob. Aleron, is it not? Why so far from the castle? You know of the trouble in these woods. Is this another one of your impulsive adventures, or are you lost? Lost? I know this forest like a book. Then you know there are spirits and strange creatures here. You might be startled at any moment. We Mirari are protected by our magic, but you... I know some magic. Lies, you don't know any magic. It's been many years since chaos reached into our plane. Indeed, but the forces against us now grow stronger every day. More and more we hear reports of monsters. And the, gob and the goblins! It will take more than a few spells to match them nowadays. Don't worry, Gutson. I also know how to fight. After all, I am the kingdom's finest warrior. Not according to Sir Brecken. He tells me you are learning well, but not as quickly as he would like. With all due respect, Sir Brecken can shove it. I is never happy with anyone. Sir Brecken rarely misjudges any of the king's squires. If he finds you lacking, there must be cause. He just doesn't like orphans. You are as brash as they say you are. Well, it's the truth! You have much to learn from him, Alaron. Think twice before you fight anything in the woods. A Brecken's in for a surprise today. One of our farmers is missing. I have come to find him and bring him home. A rescue! How exciting! Sister, why are the youngest squires always the most ambitious? It's a mystery to me, sister. But you'll never find this farmer on your own. The forest is enormous. You need assistance. I like working by myself. That will change. I see. Isn't there any way we can help? Well, if you see Kendall, ask him to call my name. Ask him to call loudly. When I hear that, I'll run toward him, and the rescue will be over, and will attract the attention of any nearby goblins. Then we'll be back to Guarnia safe and sound. Be careful, pup. These woods are no place for a half-trained squire. So whatever you're doing, best to finish it as soon as possible. Or even sooner. I'm sure the whole castle awaits your return. Thanks, Gutzone and Zareen. Those two are a little hard to tell apart. I actually had to figure out a little trick to remember which is which, which I will impart to you the next time we talk to them, which is actually not that far from now. Because apart from a couple more treasures we can snag, there isn't much left to these woods. 
and I'm not going back for that bat. <laughs> Too risky. The other one already bit me in half. You saw it. Only because I let him, but he did it. 